There are so many people who go on low salt diets or remove salt completely from their diets and this is extremely detrimental to the human body. Now yes, there are certain patients who have certain kidney issues or high blood pressure and certain conditions that require them to reduce their salt intake. But what we need to understand that salt is required in the right quantities and especially the right quality for the human body, for cellular metabolism, for everything to do with your digestion, your immunity, your skin, your hair, your metabolism, your cellular health. Today we're going to understand that this is not a fad. This has existed for years and years in civilizations ac across the world where people consumed a little bit of salt water every single morning to improve the functioning in the human body. Now, of course, most people would think that I have high blood pressure. How can I have salt when my doctors told me to cut down salt? Most women and men will think if I'm trying to lose weight, how can I you know, put salt in my diet because salt retains water. But remember, it's always the right quantity and the right quality that makes the biggest difference. Now, for years, this particular water, the salt water concoction has existed in civilizations, and it's called sole. It's spelled S-O-L-E. S-O-L comes from the Latin word sun. So sole water, I'm going to give you the recipe at the end of this session, is something which is inexpensive and you can make it and keep it at home. You can store it for months and months and consume a little bit of the salt water solution every single day to boost your health. So first let's understand about salt and the hype about salt. Yes, it's true that the commercially available white refined, highly refined rock salt, also known as sodium chloride, which is table salt, okay, exists all over and that's detrimental to our health if we have it in excess. The average American and average Indian consumes anywhere between 10 grams to 12 grams of salt every single day. And that's the reason why people have high blood pressure and other issues like cardiovascular issues and water retention and kidney problems because we're having excess salt and especially the wrong quality found in all of your processed foods, all of your restaurant food, all of your outside food. The human body requires about 1.5 teaspoons, which is approximately 8 grams of pure salt for its cellular metabolic function every day. Now, it's extremely important to understand that if the human body doesn't get the required amount of salt, it goes into a crisis mode. It goes into something called sodium sparing, where your entire cellular metabolism changes. Because you see, every cell in the human body requires the right amount of sodium or salt to maintain its electrolyte balance, to maintain balance and cellular communication in the human body. Now, the problem with the wrong salt is really simple. Sodium chloride today, commercially, it's mined from, you know, rock salt is mined in large, large amounts. And then they're put into huge kilns and they're heated to the temperature of about 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit. This changes the entire chemical structure of the salt, making it chemically dead. And now they add additives to it, like fluoride, like synthetic iodine, like anti-caking agents and a whole load of chemicals. Anti-caking agents allow the salt to be poured out of the white little salt shakers that you find in restaurants and in your home that makes the salt light and really pourable. And then you have fluoride and synthetic iron, which does damage to the body and a whole load of other chemicals which cause kidney damage and high blood pressure because a lot of these additives basically mess up the blood vessel composition in the human body and that raises your blood, your blood pressure levels. Now, while you're refining, while these companies are refining and heating all of, the, all of the salt to make it commercially prepared for us, it is also stripping the natural rock salt of all of its minerals. So, for example, rock salt has, a, has an element called, it's a trace mineral called selenium. Selenium helps salt balance your blood pressure automatically. But because your salt is commercially stripped and conventionally stripped of all, all of its trace minerals, it no longer has selenium. And that's why refined white salt becomes bad for people's pressure, it becomes bad for people's heart, it becomes bad for people's kidneys. It's because it's been stripped of all of its minerals. You see, anything that nature's given us in the right quantity and quality is perfectly designed for the human body. So the more refined, like sugar, the more refined the sugar is, the more dangerous it is to the human body. The more refined salt is, like all of the commercially available salt, most restaurants that you eat in will have commercially refined salt. The table salt that you have, which is white and fine, is highly refined, stripped of all of its minerals. So now not only do you have chemically dead 
sodium chloride salt at home, but you have salt which has been stripped of minerals. And these very minerals are required for your health. So there's something very interesting to share with you. Dr. Linus Pauling, who won a Nobel Prize for two years consecutively, insisted on one important factor that every ailment and every disease can be traced to the deficiency of one or more minerals in the human body. And I can't tell you how true this is when it comes to even cancer and the patients that we treat because chemotherapy wipes out almost every class hair protein and vitamin and mineral from the body. That's why the patient goes through so many side effects and their immunity gets weaker and weaker and that's why it's a vicious cycle that you get in. But we still got to do chemotherapy when it's advised to us and when we need to do it, but we need to do it the right way. So while chemotherapy is stripping out all of the trace minerals and vitamins from your body, we need to keep changing our diet and our lifestyle to make sure that we're adding those minerals and vitamins back into our body so that we don't cause more problems and more side effects from the chemotherapy. So anyway, let's go straight into the benefits of having this salt water solution every single morning. Number one, the right amount of salt in the body helps you balance your blood sugar levels. This is for all the people who have diabetes out there and all people who are looking at preventing diabetes. You need the right quality salt and the right quantity to balance your blood sugar levels. When you have the right quantity of salt and the solution that we're going to talk about post this uh, video, the recipe that I'm going to give you will actually help you lower your blood sugar levels. When it comes to bone health, how does salt help you with bone health? Because salt in its right quality is very alkalizing for the human body. Now we know an acidic body leaches calcium and D3 from your bones leading to osteoporosis and a deficiency in your bone minerals. But the right sodium chloride can actually help you add that back, enabling you to have stronger bones as you age and as you go through old age. So this is extremely important for people in their 30s, 40s and 50s and 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 especially the elderly people who want to make sure that they keep their bones strong. You want to have a little bit of water, salt water every single day. Immunity, boosting your immunity and your metabolic rate. Now let's go straight into hydration. There are just too many people out there today drinking so much of water. They're overdoing it on water. They're drinking four liters of water, five liters of water, six liters of water. And this is detrimental to your health. You see everything is required in moderation in the human body. You cannot go on overdoing it on your water intake. If you do too much of water, if you have too much of a water intake, you are diluting your electrolytes and your mineral composition in the human body. There's something called over dilution. If you keep chugging on water throughout the day thinking it's healthy for you because there's so much media talking about increasing your water intake, Yep, we have to increase our water intake if we have a low intake of water. If we're having the right intake of water to suit our exercise, our composition, the country that we live in, the weather, it's absolutely fine. But just chugging on water because someone told you that keep hydrating is detrimental to your health. What happens is your entire cellular metabolism in your cells requires a concentration of minerals and electrolytes to function. If you constantly drink water, you're flushing these out. You're changing that dilution level in your cells. And what happens is when you have less sodium in your body, your body starts producing an enzyme called renin, which is detrimental to your health. That triggers off a stress response where your body starts producing more adrenaline. This isn't good enough for you. When you eat raw food, when you have your vegetables raw, when you have your fruits raw, they already contain water, which helps you hydrate. So when you're looking at your water intake, you have to look at the amount of fruits that you're eating, the number of raw vegetables that you're eating, and balance it with the water intake that you have. But just chugging on water, and that's what happens when we eat junk food and processed food, because that contains the wrong quality of salt, which makes us more and more thirsty. And we're drinking more and more water, diluting all of the electrolytes and mineral composition out of the human body. So we've got to be mindful of that. But when you add a little bit of salt to your water in the morning, this salt actually helps your cells absorb and hold on to more of the water. I'm not talking about water retention. I'm talking about cellular water, which your cells require for their functioning every single day. And that's the importance of adding salt to your water or your food. Too many people go on these no-salt diets, and I can promise you that if you don't have a disease and you've not been advised by your doctor or nutritionist to go low-salt, and if you're doing it, it's not helping you anyway. In fact, it's, making, it's changing your metabolic rate, and you're going to have more problems. <clears throat> When it comes to your digestion, and this is extremely, extremely important, when you have a little bit of salt and water before your meals or in the morning, salt water in the right quality stimulates your salivary glands and that produces amylase. 
okay, which is an enzyme that helps you break down carbohydrates and fat in your mouth. But more important than that, it, 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 than that is it stimulates your digestive fluids. Salt stimulates the production of hydrochloric acid in your stomach and the production of protein breaking down enzymes. You need enzymes to break down protein. You can't just be chugging on protein shakes the, the entire day and you have poor digestion. If you have the wrong stomach acid, you cannot break down food efficiently. You cannot break down protein efficiently, which is why some people who increase their protein have bloating, flatulence, and acidity, and they keep passing gas throughout the day. Now, that's a bad sign. It isn't protein. The problem is not with protein. The problem is with your digestive system. It doesn't have the right amount of enzymes to break down your protein that you eat. You see, it's not about what you eat. It's about how your body breaks down, assimilates, and absorbs what you eat every single day. So you can be eating organic food. You can be eating salads and soups and nuts and seeds. But if you don't have the right medium of digestion, it's useless. So by having this little bit of salt water in the morning, it basically stimulates your digestive system to maintain the right pH level of your stomach. Now you need a low pH level of your stomach in your stomach because it helps you break down bacteria, it kills fungi, it kills pathogens and germs that we ingest through our food or through our water. And that leads to stomach infections and H. pylori and a whole load of other bacterial infections. Now, if your food's not digesting the right way in your stomach, it sits and rots and ferments in your gut, okay, leading to, the, leading to more growth of bad bacteria and you have less of the good bacteria. And that's why we bloat up. That's why our stomachs, even though they're supposed to be flat, they bloat up and we feel acidic and we have indigestion and flatulence, all because we don't have the right digestive medium in our stomach. Now, when it, when it comes to inflammation, yes, when you have the right amount of salt in your diet, it reduces inflammation. Like I said, 1.5 teaspoons is what we need of salt in the day, roughly 8 grams. If we don't have this 8 grams of salt in our body, our body goes into stress mode, increasing inflammation. And we know that inflammation is one of the root causes of everything, be it acidity, hair fall, inability to lose weight, most cancers, joint pain, back pain, arthritis, autoimmune disorders, everything is related to, autoimmune, uh, to inflammation. So if you go too low on your salt intake or the wrong quality of salt, you can have inflammation in your body. Better sleep. Who would, ever, who would have ever thought that salt can help you sleep better? Because when you have the right quality of salt in your blood, it helps your body produce a hormone called oxytocin. We all know oxytocin is also called the love hormone or the cuddle hormone or the happy hormone, which helps you relax your body, which helps you calm down and reduce anxiety naturally. So if you have sleep problems, you may want to have a little bit of the salt water solution that I'm going to share with you after this video just about one hour before you sleep at night and see if it improves the quality of your sleep or calms you down. Detoxification, because it has the ability to keep your stomach uh, clean. Salt water also has the ability to detox you. So when you go to some of the best detox centers around the world, they put you on salt water solutions to clean out your gut, to clean out your stomach, to flush toxins out of the human body. You see, uh, salt ions are positively charged and water is negatively charged. When they mix together, you change the entire structure of the water. And this becomes highly detoxifying for the body when it's taken in the right quantity. Skin, when it comes to eczema, psoriasis, rashes, acne, why? How does salt help you? Salt is rich in minerals. Chromium helps you fight acne. Sulfur helps you fight psoriasis and eczema. So most people who have eczema and psoriasis and skin issues, they have a deficiency of sulfur. So when we put the right quality of salt in the human body, like, like that doctor said, every ailment in the human body can be linked and traced back to the deficiency of one trace mineral or many. So most people fighting acne, all they have to do in most cases is make sure that they have the right amount of chromium in their body, in their diet. People who are fighting skin issues and skin disorders need to make sure they have the right amount of sulfur in their diet. No amount of creams and shampoos and all of these things external is going to heal you. It's an inside-outside approach. It's like a plant. You can keep spraying the leaves of a plant and it'll look clean and green and beautiful, but you'll have to keep doing that. But if you feed the roots of the plant what it needs, the right minerals, the right vitamins, the right food, the plant grows naturally beautiful. The same with our body. What we want to express externally, our hair, our skin, our face, our weight, is an inside-out approach. It's, it depends on what we're feeding, 50 trillion plus cells in the human body. Okay, 
Salt is rich in iodine naturally. When you have the right amount of iodine, people with thyroid problems tend to get better because you have a deficiency of thyroid. Even your skin, when iodine basically increases the oxygen consumption into your skin through your cells, increasing your skin metabolic rate. So if your skin, if you want your skin to glow and look good, you should try washing your face with a good salt water solution and also consuming it internally. That's what I'm going to share with you in a bit. Your mineral balance, salt has over 75 to 80 different trace minerals and all of these trace minerals are e extremely important to heal and prevent disease. So let me give you an example of cancer which depletes almost all minerals. So there's a trace mineral called boron which gets depleted the moment you start chemotherapy and radiation. Now we gotta put that boron and chromium back into the system that boosts immunity. So you see, you just can't be Googling foods that are good for immunity, foods that are good for your hair, foods that help you lose weight. None of that works if it doesn't have the right minerals and the right enzymes because it's the right minerals and vitamins and enzymes required to be digested and assimilated in the human body. And that happens only when you have the right environment in the body to break down all of the vitamins that you have. I could be popping vitamin C every day through a supplement, but if my digestive system doesn't have the right enzymes to metabolize it, it doesn't work at all. So you have to, you have to make sure that the environment of your insides, your digestive system is conducive to what you're eating, to break it down, assimilate it and absorb it. So when you have the right amount of salt in your body, you're gonna find that you have better energy levels, better skin, better immunity, healthy veins, People who have muscle cramps, you'll find that your muscle cramps also get better if it's not caused by a magnesium deficiency. And blood pressure, yes, it will balance your blood pressure. Because you see, for the longest time we believe that excess salt causes high blood pressure. It does because it's the wrong quality. It's depleted of selenium that helps you actually balance your blood pressure levels. But when you use the right amount of salt, even people with high blood pressure when you use the right quality and you put the right amount of selenium in your body that rock salt and pure unrefined salt contains it already has the ability to balance your blood pressure and for diabetics balance your blood sugar levels as well so how do you make this soul water pronounced as soul how do you make it so you take a jar you take a, you take a jar basically and we want to use a glass jar over here it's extremely important to use glass and move away from all 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 forms of plastic now, depending on the size of the jar that you take, you, feel, you fill one third of the jar with pure, unrefined salt. So you can look at pink salt, you can look at Himalayan pink salt, or you can look at pure, unrefined salt. You wanna make sure that these are crystals. You fill the jar with one, th one third of the jar with the salt, and then you cover it with water, and then you, you seal the jar with probably not a metal cap, but probably a rubber cap or a plastic cap in this case, because it's not, the, the solution's not really gonna to touch the cap and you leave it for 24 hours. Okay, after that, you open the jar and you'll find that the level of water is slightly decreased. You add about two teaspoons more of salt and again, you close it for 24 hours. After 24 hours, this will be 48 hours from you starting the procedure, you open the jar and you'll notice that most of the salt crystals are now dissolved. That means your soul water is ready for consumption. Now for most people, the average dose is half a teaspoon mixed with a whole glass of water in the morning. You can have quarter a teaspoon with a whole glass of water one hour before going to sleep if you have a sleep issue or if you're feeling stressed out by the end of the day. Now you have to understand it's a mindset change. Yes, water, salt water will cause bloating, it will cause water retention, it will cause a spike in your, high, in your, high, in your blood pressure if you're using the normal cheap refined salt but if you're using the pure salt that we just spoke about like pink salt unrefined salt crystals and you make the solution and you start having maybe half a teaspoon in the morning if it's too if it's too salty dilute it with more water so you add half a teaspoon of the solution from the glass jar into a large mug of water and you dilute it with as much of water as you need to if it's too salty for you and observe how this works for you. Now, extremely important, people who are on salt-restrictive diets, people who have CKD, uh, CK, uh, CKD, which is chronic kidney disorders, you may wanna check with your doctor or your nutritionist before doing this. For everyone else, it's absolutely fine. And I can promise you, I've been doing this for the last couple of days. Energy levels, skin, hair, immunity. I can't measure that, but I can definitely measure the amount of 
uh, energy that I have and especially it's great for post recovery after your workouts because this helps you balance the lost electrolytes and the, in the extracellular fluid between your cells actually helping you with a faster recovery. So you may want to try this. Like I said, this has existed for years and years, but we've been, we've been just, our mindset's been changed because of the refined salt. So you see, salt is required by the human body. You go back decades and decades, salt was traded with spices. It was actually an entire trade where salt was exchanged for spices. You require salt in the human body. If you go low salt, you're going to have low metabolism and you're going to have Prop in incorrect in communication between your cells. So that's how you make the solution. You may want to try this, make a whole jar of it, follow the procedure. I will post the recipe in the thread once more after I end this video. But don't be scared of the right quality of salt and the right quantity of salt. It's all about quality. It's all about quantity. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep. Have a great day, everyone.